Like I've been talking to my husband, I'm like, babe, come on, let's go ahead and try for baby number four next year. You guys, I've been doing like more chatting than rapping. guys my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel you guys in today's video I'm going to do a wrap with me chit chat I have a lot of wrapping to do and I'm not gonna do what I did last year last year you guys I waited until Christmas Eve to wrap all of the gifts I was wrapping gifts till midnight my husband was downstairs putting together uh, trampolines and we were really working hard um, last Christmas Eve but this Christmas Eve you guys I really want to uh, chill, eat cookies, watch movies with the hubby. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some wrapping done right now. So I figured I might as well make this video, do like a wrapping, chit chat, catch up with you guys, all the things. Um, so yeah, so before we get into today's video, you guys, I really wanna give a special thanks to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video again. You guys, if you are not new here to my channel, you already know I love Ana Luisa. I have partnered with them in so many videos and I will continue to partner with them because you guys, their jewelry, it's amazing. They take their time in picking out their selections of their jewelry by only picking the finest and noble of metals to use while creating their beautiful and delicate jewelry. You guys, I love that not only by them creating this, these beautiful pieces of jewelry, they also take extra care of the environment and, and everything. And I really think that that is really important to me. I love that their jewelry, first of all, is tarnish free. This is just not some fast city fashion trends you're gonna get where you're gonna wear the jewelry and the next day it's gonna turn green. You guys, I have jewelry pieces from Ana Luisa that's over a year old and they look just as pretty as the pieces that I'm wearing today. Right now, you guys, I have a necklace on from them. I have some hoop earrings and I have this really cute bracelet bracelet and uh, you guys I love the collection that I have been collecting as far as the Ana Luisa jewelry I love that I can dress it up dress it down it really can go with any occasion right now you guys they are actually hosting the biggest sell of the year so if you have any last-minute presents or gifts you need to get someone I definitely think you should go ahead and take advantage of the Ana Luisa their sell they're amazing you guys I will have everything in their sell listed in my description box below Below. it's not too late go ahead you guys get your hands on some of these lovely pieces so again thanks Ana Luisa for sponsoring the video now let's go ahead and get right on into the gift wrapping okay you guys don't kill me but <laughs> I got the kids a couple extra gifts I made my video of what I got my kids for Christmas and if you guys want to see all of the gifts that I got my girls for Christmas I will go ahead and link that video down below I'll put it in a little eye card so you can see everything I got them but you guys I could not resist I ordered another package from Amazon you guys Amazon has been on point this holiday season so I'm gonna open it up right here and I'm just gonna show you guys the extra gift that I got them I got them two more gifts these are from my uh, younger two so if you guys um, are new here I have a nine no not, she's not nine now oh my gosh Brielle is ten so I have a ten year old I have a three year old and a one year old so I have pretty uh, big age ranges when it comes to the kids but you guys, oh my gosh, I seen this and I had to get this for my kids. My husband, before I purchased this right here, you guys, my husband, he looked inside of our Amazon cart and he was like, no, we're not getting that for the girls, no, oh my gosh. But you guys, I got it anyway. <laughs> and what it is is that I got them some cute musical instruments. I don't even know how I'm gonna wrap this, you guys. Hopefully it's not too loud. But look, I got them the bells. This is the little uh, wooden instrument. Let's see. You guys, they are gonna have so much fun with all of these. They got the clappers. I think this right here goes with the little drum. Oh my gosh, you guys, they are going to have, this is a flute. These are the bells. Oh my gosh, you guys, they are going to have so much fun with all these instruments. Um, I really got it because I really want to start incorporating some type of like music time in the morning with my younger two. You guys, I'm really all into this preschool at home and I'm trying my best to um, make it be fun for the girls. I know that they're having an awesome time with the things that we are doing within our homeschool, but I just want to elevate us a little bit more. And I definitely think that these instruments, they are going to love. I promise my husband, and I'm only going to pull these out you guys when um, 
he's downstairs working so he doesn't have to worry about like all the noise this will kind of just be like a fun thing I pull out I'll put it in a basket for them uh, for like when we're doing like our music time in the morning so I definitely think they will love that so you guys right now the gifts that I have to wrap is really for my husband's or side of the family or my in-laws we're actually going to see them before Christmas so I always make sure that I wrap up their gifts because every year we see them like before Christmas so I make sure I have their gifts wrapped first and honestly you guys I'm not gonna lie when I wrap their gifts my husband's family's gifts or my in-laws their gifts actually look the prettiest because those are the ones I start off with so I'm gonna start off with their gifts but oh yeah I forgot to show you guys okay I'm already all over the place but I went to Costco's last night, you guys, and I did get the girls one more gift. This right here is their, uh, this is a series my sister told me to get, and it's called Fun with Mouse and Friends. And this book set has, what is this? This is six books in here. So uh, yeah, when we were at uh, Costco's last night, I was just grabbing diapers and wipes and paper towels and toilet paper, like all the things I always stop in a book section. So I got this series and it has, if, you're, if you give a mouse a cookie, if you take a mouse to school, if you give a cat a cupcake, if you give a pig a pancake, if you give a pig a party, and if you give a moose a muffin. So I, my sister definitely told me that they will love these, so hopefully um, they will. So those are like two more gifts that I have for my two younger ones, um, so yeah. Um, I guess I can go ahead and show you guys the other gifts that I have. Um, I have this gift right here, you guys. Um, this is a cute little VTech gift right here I got for my niece. I have two nieces, you guys. They are actually the same ages as my two daughters. Me and my sister-in-law, you guys, we were pregnant like two, two years together. And it's so crazy how uh, that happened. So our kids are like literally four months apart. So it's so crazy, um, both of them. So yeah, so I have this one right here for Harlow. And then for, um, my niece Grayson, I know she's gonna love this. I got her this cute Play-Doh set and then I also got her this alphabet puzzle. You guys, this puzzle was only $2 at Big Lots and I had to get this for her. So I got her some like educational sensory games and things like that. I know her mom, I don't know if she's gonna be <laughs> mad at me for getting Play-Doh. I know not everyone does Play-Doh, but this, I mean, the kids love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that. And then I also got gifts for them as well. So you guys, <laughs> Yeah, let me go ahead and start wrapping. You guys, I have all of this different wrapping paper. I really like to wrap my gifts like in the parcel paper. Um, me and my mom, we started wrapping our gifts in the parcel paper a while ago. I mean, it's been years now. So I have different sets of parcel paper. I have little bells that I got from Dollar General. What else, you guys? I have ribbon and I have bows. Some of this stuff, you guys, is actually from last year. I think I overbought last year, so I really didn't have to get much. I just needed to get some new tubes of um, wrapping paper, so yeah. So you guys, let me go ahead and face the camera down and start wrapping. also going to do the little jingle bells since this one's for my niece I think she'll really enjoy it so um yeah you guys I guess for the chit chat what are we gonna talk about <laughs> okay let me stop but seriously you guys um I'm really excited about the new year I'm excited for January but I'm also nervous you guys um I'm really nervous about our upcoming homeschool semester um, I really think you guys since I'm still new at homeschooling I've only been homeschooling you guys for about like two years so it's not really two years it's like what a year and a half so once we complete this year I think it would be what my I will have I would have homeschooled for two years so I'm in my second year of homeschooling but I've only homeschooled for a year and a half so you guys like um, I'm kind of nervous I I think honestly I have just been taking homeschool, homeschooling like 
a day at a time just because it's just such a big responsibility that you're holding as a homeschooling mom. It's like I'm holding my kids' education, their future, like in my hands. And um, sometimes it can be like really intimidating, you guys. I just, I really always go back and forth sometimes and I'm like, am I doing the best? Did I do enough? Did she really retain that information? And you guys, it's like, I always go back and forth. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, you guys, like this year coming up, my goal is really to give this homeschooling thing like to God, because like, I feel like I have been holding on to it like an idol and I'm really just gonna just let it go. Like I feel like as long as I'm doing my best, I'm present every day, we are making strides, I feel like I'm going to start letting the rest of it go. So <laughs> that is really my goal for just in general for homeschooling is that I really feel like I just need to breathe in, breathe out, let it go and just know I'm doing my best and I need to just hand this homeschool over to God and let him take care of the rest because I can't do it on my own you guys and um, yeah so that is as far as like homeschooling as far as you guys like just life I'm not gonna lie I have been having some serious like baby fever you guys like I've been talking to my husband I'm like babe come on let's go ahead and try for baby number four next year <laughs> I'm gonna pop in a text message that I sent him about that a couple of weeks ago and you guys he was like no no I'm not for having baby number four I am done it's a wrap <laughs> my husband was even like you know what I'm gonna get a vasectomy I'm not playing around with you Brit so um yeah my husband is done with having kids but I have been having like serious baby fever I don't know why I don't know like what it is um I don't feel like our family is complete but then other days I'm like okay I'm happy with my family I'm happy with my girls so I don't know I really don't know where the future holds for the Jackson household but my husband he did promise me you guys he was like okay we will just discuss it every year we're just gonna leave it up for grabs we will just see where we're at and uh, we'll leave it at that so he hasn't really said like a confirmed no, you know, from our personal conversations about like having another baby. But I think right now in the season that we're in, he's done. So I don't know, you guys, we'll see. We'll see if we have baby number four. But if not, I still feel like, you know, truly blessed with um, just all the babies that I have, you guys. It's like so crazy um, how blessed I feel. So, um, yeah, I really wonder, you guys, like how is... Um, I mean, I really wonder you guys, like, how did you know, like, you were done having kids? Like, leave me in the comment section below. Like, did you know you were done having kids or it just happened naturally with you and your husband? Um, let me know. But um, I'm definitely having, like, the fever or whatever. You guys, I've been doing, like, more chatting than rapping. I'm still, like, <laughs> on this first gift or whatever. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, you guys, and just put you on a B-roll and finish up this rapping. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. A winter wonderland, a snowball in each hand, take me away Christmas Day. Give thanks for this past year Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share Oh, what a bliss A green red delight With glimmering silver white You dazzle us all from big to small Warm laughter and white smiles My presents stacked in piles Take me away Christmas Day
just for this past year Oh, nothing compares to the love that we share Guys, I really hope you like this like informal rap chit chat video with me. I really enjoy doing this. I really enjoy like talking to you guys and getting to know you guys better in the comment section. You guys, as always, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please don't forget to go ahead and check out the links in my description box below so you can grab some beautiful Ana Luisa pieces for your family. It's not too late to go ahead and grab onto this sale that they're having right now and I know you won't regret your purchases. So you guys, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the